there today. If you don't tell me, who put in the family in there? If you don't tell me, you may be pregnant. Oh! I'm the man! 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 To put my family into shame. Can you please? If I catch you in this house again, nothing will stop me from committing murder. I told you. No family now. Mama. I'll be leaving now. I want to go over and see Uncle Matthew and then I'll be gone from there. It's all right. But my son, Biko, what are you doing about what we discussed last night? Mama, don't you ever get tired? Throughout last night, you did not allow me to sleep. Complaining, complaining and complaining. Do you expect me to keep silent when my language is, uh, 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 is threatened? Eh? Look, you are my only son, Chukwadu. My only son, Chukwadu. For the past eight years, you have married. You had no issue. And you expect me to be happy, eh? I have told you that it is not too late. Ah, uh -uh. Children are a gift from God. In his own time, he will bless us with that. Uh -huh. You are correct. But heaven helps those who help themselves. Is it not reasonable for us to wait for God's favor while you take a second wife? Even if I take a second wife, there is no guarantee she will bear a child unless God blesses us. Go. No. Chikwado. See, there's a young teacher I saw at Wando's house last month. She's very dutiful. She also looks like somebody who has a womb that is capable of bearing so many children. Not that man you have in your house that you call a wife. Mama, do not insult my wife over a problem that that is not her fault. It is her fault. It is her fault. Eh? How can you say it is not her fault? Let her bet you now like others now. Let her give it to you. It is her fault. Oh. If you like, go back. You will come, still come back and meet me here. My only son. Eh? And you are telling me it is not her fault. I want my grandchildren. You must give me my own grandchildren, no? After I give my own parents their grand grandchild. What is the meaning of that? It's not her fault. Can you imagine? I'm about to go back to the town. Okay. And uh, it's about time for me to start the building project I talked about. Why, Jimu, where there? That's wonderful. <laughs> I want you to help me find out about the contractors around here and suggest to me the one that I award the building contract to. Okay. Um, before you go further, I want to ask you for a favor. What favor? Uh, I need some little money to back on one project like that by next month. But Uncle, you're going to make some money when the project starts. You're going to be in charge. Uh, Chikwa, the money you think I'll make will just take care of my children. I want to embark on this project of my own with some money. Uncle, what do you need the money for? I, I, I want to marry 
another wife. Another wife? Yes. What do you need another wife for? Uh, children, of course. But you have eight children. Uh, and so what? Why can't you see our family is the least populated around this area? But you, 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 your mother wants more children. Since you are not ready, well, allow me to take care of that responsibility. Eh? Uncle, I have not yet invited you to take over my responsibility. You have already had yours. Let others have theirs. Chikwado. Look, I, I'm not asking you for money to buy a car or a jeep. Just money to pick a second wife. Eh? Okay, if you don't want us to have children, make it possible for me to have the wife. But we can live with our children, yes. Eh? Uncle, you have to give me time to think about this. Please. When I come back, we'll discuss this further. Let, let's do it that way. And then I would like to find out from your wife whether she'll permit the coming of a new wife into your home. Why should we take permission from my wife for me to pick a, a new wife? I've said I'm not asking you for money to buy the whole world. Just money to pick a second wife. If you don't want to give me this money, just tell me straight away. Uncle, huh? I've already told you when I come back, we will discuss it further. Better. Please hurry up and come back so we can discuss it. Huh? Kitchen. Do you remember that boy introduced me to at Tony's birthday party? Which boy did I introduce to you? You said his name is Peter. Peter. Oh yes, I do. Any problem? Where does he live? Why are you asking now? Tell me. Oh, my father wants to see him. Why? I have not been feeling fine after after that encounter with Peter. Which encounter? Do you remember that day I tasted alcohol for the first time? And Peter took me to the room to rest when I started feeling dizzy. And that was all. So what makes you think he's responsible? Of course he is! See, I have not been that close to any other boy since that day. So don't tell me that. Uh, it's okay, I'm sorry, right? See, that very day was the first day I met Peter and he begged me to introduce you to him, which I did. And since then, I've not seen him. What? But he didn't tell me all this that day now. I Come on. I'm sorry. What do you want me to tell my father, eh? God. I've had enough. Just take your problem out of my house. Don't involve my daughter. And leave immediately. Leave! Please. Please let me stay, Peter. I have no way to go. My leave my house. I don't want to be involved. I don't want to be involved. Please. Can you please help me and pay your mother? Oh, please, no, Peter.
Where are you coming from? Good day, madam. Good day, sisters. Sit down. Thank you. It's just your husband. It's not around. Yes, can I help you? We are from the Mother of Mercy Convent. We saw your daughter at a... Good day, sir. Good day, Papa. Ada, what are you doing here? What are you doing in my house? Since you refused to bring that idiot, you connived me to bring shame to this family. I don't have time for you. Come on, get out. Out of my house! No. Get no. out! No, please calm down. Calm down. That visit us, people. Mm. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. And where are you from? We are from the Mother of Missy Convent. We are from the convent, sir. I see. All right. With due respect to you, sisters. The sight of this girl infuriates me. I don't want her around me at all. Sir, please. Don't be offended. She's still your daughter. Yes, but get her out of my sight. Get her out of my sight. That is it. Papa, we came to discuss on that. <laughs> You're here to discuss on her problem. I won't be party to any discussion. That involves her. No way. Yeah. I will not. Are you not hearing what I'm saying? I will not. Wow. Okay. I'm going to see if you want to go Sir, we see your daughter. Wandering in the night. So we decided to shelter her. She said you drove her out of the house. Yes, I did. She's pregnant. We know, Papa. Uh -huh. So why are you blaming me? No, Papa. We are not blaming you. Mm. That girl you're looking at is not yet 16. She's not. Sir, we know. Please. If you are. We came to beg on her behalf. Look, if you want, if you are here to plead with me to accept her in this house, no. You have already failed. You won't succeed. Sir, that is not our mission. The mother of Macy takes charge of the abandoned children. Oh! Mother of Macy! Abandoned children! Oh, so you want to take her? Is it? Oh, please, take her! Take her! So long as she is not in this house. Take her! No problem! Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Thank you for your understanding. But the major thing there is that she will stay with us until she delivers. Oh, she can stay as long as she wants. Or as long as you want her to be there. No problem. I only demanded for her to bring the man who made her pregnant here. That is all. Look, sisters, what about the child? Is she going to come back to this house with the child? We'll take care of your daughter until she delivers. Mm, thank you. Look, I don't want any bastard in my house. I don't want. Papa, take it easy with her. That is just a mistake. You don't have to disown or kill her, please. <clears throat> Even if I don't kill or disown her, that baby in her womb does not belong to this house. Okay, Papa. Will you want us to take custody of the baby? Oh, you can do anything you like with the baby. Anything. <laughs> she is yours. Keep her, keep her, keep her. No problem. <laughs> All yours.
My good afternoon. Is there... Is there any problem, Mama? Bring out the foodstuffs from the car. All these foodstuffs you are bringing, Chikwadu. Did I tell you I'm starving? Eh? When I sent a message to you, did I tell you food was my problem? Mama, have you started again? Don't you ever get tired? How can I get tired? When you are not yet tired of this island that cannot produce even one single baby. Chikwadu, look, Elio Chikwadu's dog just gave birth to eight puppies the other day. And it's not yet quite six months they bought that dog. It has been able to produce a bottle of joy for the owner. But my own. Not even one. Empty hand. Oh, why is this happening to me? So now, Mama, you compare my wife to a dog. Uh -huh. If you don't stop this, I will leave and I will never come back to this village again. Go! Don't come back, Chikwado. Go! Oh, did you come for me? Come to see me. You came because of your building. Go ahead and build your house. Build it for rats, cockroaches, lizards, goats, dogs. When you finish building, I will see who will stay there. Eh? You think it's wearing uniform? Yeah. Buying, buying big, big cars, yeah. cathedral. Tomorrow you come with small one. Yeah. Another day you come with Jeep, Land Rover. Go! Don't come back. All the enter this car. We're leaving now. Honey, she's a mother. You can't abandon her, please. So yeah, you better go back to Lagos with him. Oh. Go back with him. I would rather stay with almost your past dogs than stay with you. You irritate me. Mama, if you think you can scatter my family, you're wasting your time. You will not succeed. I'm not planning to scatter. If the iron you married cannot give you what you married her for, is it not reasonable that we look for another person? I will not marry a second wife. If that's what you think, I will not marry a second wife. You can shout from now till tomorrow, I will not. Chikwado, you can go back to Lagos. Go back to Lagos and leave me alone. Hey, hey, if marrying a second wife is not good, why did you promise to give uh, Matthew money to marry a second wife? You and Matthew that has eight children, who needs a second wife? Did Uncle Matthew tell you I promised to give him money to marry another wife? The wife you asked him to marry, is it for you or for him? Huh? If that is your plan, huh? that's, that's a very good step in the right direction. You didn't tell me. Didn't Let tell me tell me. you something. Let me tell you something. You and Matthew, you will not scatter my family. Okay? You will not. Don't be fooled! You think she's a part of this family? She's not in there. You are not yet part of this family. You are not part of this family until you do what other women are doing. So count yourself out. You think it's wearing uniform, buying big, big cars. Go ahead. Go back to Lagos and stay. Uh, let's go. Go and stay in Lagos. I don't have anything to do with you here. Foolish woman. Ordinary one baby you cannot do. And you call yourself a wife. You don't belong to us. You are not part of us at all at all. Go. Nonsense.
there's only wickedness in the heart of an evil man. There is evil in his heart, danger in his words, but one day he will surely pay for what he has done. Oh, there's sadness when he talks, danger in his moves, but one day he will surely pay for what, what he has day? done. You don't look happy. Uncle, it's my mother again. Every time I come to the village, she's on my neck about this same child issue. Why, Jim Wen? Eh? Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. What is wrong with your mother? Eh? She will destroy your family if you allow her. Let me tell you. I once had a master who for 15 years could not have a child with his wife. When that child eventually came, they named him Miracle. You see, God has a way of doing his own things. Your mother has to be patient with you. Huh? Thank you, Uncle. I just wish my mother would understand this matter the way you do. Okay, I'll go and talk to her. Huh? You know, she listens to me. You know. Uncle, please uh, talk to her. I'll talk to her. This thing is getting too much. I... Every time, the same thing, the same thing. Mm -hmm. I'll go and talk to her. Take it easy. Oh? It will be all right. Hmm? Right. We're leaving now. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll see you when, when I come back. All right. I wish you safe, Jenny. Oh? All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't get too much worked up. Hmm? Right. Send my regards to your wife. Okay. Huh? Is it not better that Chikwa do the man's Chinese? If he gets a child now, no longer have time for my children. And if he dies childless, he will be the one to carry on his way. In the heart of an evil man Cause he wants the whole world Yes, mother Thank God Yes It was a self-delivery No complications at all Yes the mother and son are hell and hearty. Yes, mother. Yes. Um, I'll be back tomorrow to give her some papers to sign. Yes, mother. Thank God. Bye. Time to time, okay? Thank you very much. Ada, let me have the baby. Let me have him. You're keeping the baby with jeopardize your future. You need to go to school, take care of yourself. All these are responsibilities which are not a bit, not prepared for. So let me have the baby, okay? <laughs> let me have him. Let me have the baby.
This since we came back from the village, I've told you not to mind my mother. She's probably behaving like this because of her age. Honey, if you want to marry another wife, why don't you tell me? What are you talking about? Even though I won't be in support of the idea, but I thought. You would have told me first, instead of going behind me to arrange for another wife with Uncle Matthew. Who said I'm arranging for a wife? Your mother. And you believed her? Honey, don't you want a child? Aluchi, is there anybody who doesn't want to have a child? Sorry, I failed to give you the child you wanted so much. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. That's okay. That's okay. Listen, I am. Um... been thinking seriously about adoption. I don't know what you think. From now on, the child is legally yours. Okay. You should have no fear of anybody coming to claim the baby. Well, 
Everything we do here is with utmost confidentiality. No records about the child's parents. Is there anything you need more? I'm very glad to hear that. At least we know he's ours. Um, myself and my wife, we're very grateful for this wonderful gift. I wish we could come back and take some more children. <laughs> oh, that would be great. Well, we'll keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, sisters, yes. Please, when is the baby's birthday? Um, that's twentieth February. Twentieth of February. Yeah. Okay, so we'll know when to celebrate his birthdays. Okay, that's good. We have uh, decided to call him God's, God's gift. gift. Yeah. That's, That's great! great. <laughs> okay. okay. This way. Yes, we can go now so we can take the baby home. Thank you, baby. Peter! Peter, where have you been now? I don't enter school now. Which day you pass jam? Jam. You're still talking of jam at your age. Ah, now? You're still in darkness, so. It can only see. Get you open your eyes and you see. I entered with cash. Cash? You may go buy in school. You go there, you drop your cash, you choose any department of your choice. So that's the new style around now. Honestly. So, where are you doing now? Eh? I'm doing mechanical engineering if you don't know. Mecha what? Engineering. Hey! Mechanica! What? Anyway, anyway, let's, let's forget about that. What thing that happen? Is there any... Is there any... Uporo in town? C.C. Uh-huh. Town? Wait. Say you know that girl I introduced to you at Tonya's party? Ah, that party. They introduced to me to so many girls now. So which one in particular? Don't tell me that. I was the person that did the introduction now. That my friend. Does she still want me? But she dig my style. But she still wants to flow with me. You understand now? Me. The girl been get the girl been get Wait. What do you mean? Bele? Which girl be that you're talking of? She said you took her to one of the rooms around that very night. That's what she said. Okay. Hi. That's small girl, that's more fair girl. Oh, she's not a small girl. I took her to one of the rooms, you know, and gave her one glass of wine. She couldn't even carry it. She slept off, touched my phone. She came to my house one day like that and was crying. She said I should take her to your place. Did you bring her to my house? I did not. Give me five. You're my girl. I'm a trouble. You know what? It must have been a very long time. She, was, she must have given me of the baby now. What? Let's go and see her. She'll still succumb. She had the child. Eh? Yes, she did. I'm going back to school today. What? Don't tell her you've seen me. I'm not seeing you. Yeah, I'm not seeing you. I'm not seeing you. Come here, this boy. You think I don't know you? Anytime I get to here, we'll be in serious trouble. On your haji. I had told told your son not to sponsor my second marriage. Huh? Have you forgotten that you didn't train that son alone? In fact, I paid for his school fees for one term when my brother wasn't around. Have you forgotten? Matthew, huh? instead of asking for money to help you train your eight children, you are asking for money to get another wife. Now, if I want to marry a second wife, what, you what's your business? Are you jealous? Jealous. Yes? <laughs> are you jealous? Matthew, I am only trying to save your life. Save who? Show me the strength you use to prove yourself when you bring when your new wife challenges your manhood. Watch him. Just show me. Watch him. Matthew. GD Hiraka. GD Hiraka. Hold your thing. Hold your manhood before it puts you into trouble. I will go ahead and marry. I hear your son now buys children. So if I have children and I want money, I'll sell my children to him and make his money. Jump on you. Uh -huh. He buys children now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I will show you that I am still the mistress of this house. Mrs. Watching. Me. Mm -hmm. You tell him why. Mm -hmm. I am still the mistress of this house. Mm -hmm. 
if my son thinks he can he can abandon me by not coming home, mm -hmm. I will show him that I know my way to Lagos. Mm -hmm. After all, I was there before him. Okay. Who showed him to the way to Lagos anyway? Uh -huh. He has I abandoned you already. You are wicked. You are wicked. Who are you? Matthew. Who are you? Matthew. Uh -huh. Look, I will go to that Lagos and, and throw that, that, that borderless baby out. That is what I'm Boy, going to Timo. do. You will see it. Boy, it is your plan. You have planned with my son to buy children. Now you are busy him here because he's not here. Tomorrow you will come and take money from him. Wow. Shame on you, my son. Shame on your Why, Hey! My son now buys Why, children. Why, What kind of embarrassment is that? Don't you know that this house belongs to my son? I'm sorry, madam. How much is your money, sir? How much? Should I be telling you that 2,000 naira before you enter? Before you enter. Oh, you want to cheat me or what? Madam, I don't want you to. I told you. You think I'm a JJC? Mama, what are you doing here? Madam, people, when they are children, they live for this kind of house, where they are living for 2,000 naira. What is the problem? Sir, sir I carried this woman from uh, Izuchuku Park. Uh -huh. I charged her 2,000 naira. Now we call her here, she called her, tell me, say me, I want it down. You say 2,000 naira? 2,000 naira, sir. What kind of insult is that? Did I tell you to pay for me? Did I tell you I don't have money to pay? Or you think I'm mad to you that uh, uh, you must pay for all his needs? Come with me. Yes, ma'am. In fact, <coughs> take this extra five naira for your pure water. Yes, ma'am. Oh, ma uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Uh -huh. Wait for me, oh. If I finish what I'm doing here in the next 10 minutes, you'll take me back to that same park. Yes, ma'am. No problem. You no, know, what, what, is, what is the meaning of all this? Huh? Why are you running away from me? You think you can run away from me? Me. It's impossible. Me, run away from you. I am wherever you are because my blood is in you. Chikwadu, I heard that you went and bought a child with money. Go and show me that property because it has no place in this house. Go and show me where that property is because I will go and dump him in a dustbin. That is where he belongs. Mama, you are embarrassing me. I have guests. Me embarrassing you. Me embarrassing you. Do you know how much embarrassment I've been through since you bought that child? Chikwado. How rich are you that you think you can buy life with money? 
Stop fooling yourself. Oh, mom. Go and show me that property you bought because I am I am going to dump him where he belongs to. Go and show me that property you bought. Look, the time of slavery is gone. William Wilberforce stopped it long time ago. <laughs> you, you can no longer buy children nowadays. It's a modern age. Mama, this is enough. Enter this car. I can't stand this embarrassment anymore. Don't go anywhere. Yes. Stay there. Mama said enter that car and uh, go fact, back. <clears throat> Let me give you more money in case you are afraid. Yes. Hold this one. Eh? Oh, thank I you. I am coming. Yes, ma'am. Go and show me that Mama, motherless enter baby. Car, enter this car and Whether leave. you bought him from AK, motherless or something, I don't know. Go and show me. I one. have had enough embarrassment, Mama. I have guests here and I can't have you embarrassing me in front of them. Please enter the car and go back. You must kill me here today. Madam, wait, Mama, wait, wait, Mama, 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 wait, me. wait, wait, kill me wait, wait, Mama, wait, wait, it's okay. Oh. What is all this, Mama? I said, kill me wait, here today. Wait, kill me. Madam, please, 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 please. Kill me, Ochimado. Please, 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 Grab these people to come and hold me. Eh? No, 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 stop, stop this. This, this is please. enough, Mama. What, what is all this now? I give a bennet at the moon. At the moon! Please, it's okay. Come! It's okay. It's alright, Mother. This is your fault. It's alright. Give me! Give me! Give me! Give me! Give me! Give me! I think you are the right part. But don't allow that old woman to make you do something you will regret later. Don't allow her. Baman, one more bottle of beer for the road. I insist, one for the road. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
get me another bottle of beer. Baby, you've had enough. I said get me another bottle of beer. Right now. I said get me another bottle of beer. Uncle, mm -hmm. I want to tell you that I'll be starting the building as I had earlier planned. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, that's all right. Well, it's good to have your own house. Yes. Uh, but what about the thing I told you before? What was that? Uh, about the new, new wife I want to marry. <sighs> eh? You want to marry a new wife? Yes. I told you. Huh? Uncle, but it's not sensible to handle both projects at the same time. Let your new wife wait. Just make sure you complete this building on time. Okay, when are you going to finish your building so that I can have the money? It will not take more than six months, Uncle, for the building to finish. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Well, that's all right. After all, six months is just around the corner. I'll wait. Okay. I'll be on my way. All right. But one day, okay. it will surely pay uh, for what bye -bye. he has right. done. There is no love, no love, no peace, no peace. There is no righteousness in the heart of an evil man. Heart of an evil he man. wants the whole world for him alone. In the heart of an evil man Please <laughs> what, what, What's the occasion? Honey, I can't wait to tell you this news What, what? I am pregnant The Lord has done it for us for us. Finally it is over. There is a part in front of you. Dip your hand and select one of the cards. Now, 
You are not holding your destiny. And as they say, your destiny is in your hand. Now, give it to me. <laughs> Chipado, your eyes will never behold your own child. <laughs> this is to say that you will never ever try to make your wife pregnant. The day you make your wife pregnant is the day you sign your death warrant. Chipado, your destiny is in your hand. Congratulations. nights all all what we went through because of this and finally it's all over it's over it is finished baby let's go upstairs Chukadu. I was just coming to your house. Chukadu, Osike, I'm finished. I am finished. What is the I... problem? Is there any problem that we cannot solve? What is the problem? Osike, my wife is pregnant for me. Oh my God, so what? Or do you expect another man to get your wife pregnant for you? But it is my destiny that I will not see my own child with my own eyes. Your destiny is in your hands. It is your decision to get your wife pregnant. So it is your decision to leave the earth. I didn't decide. Chukwadu. You mean you took the preventive and still your wife got pregnant? No, 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 I didn't. I was so drunk that night, I forgot to take it. So indirectly, it was your decision. And you have to live by your destiny. You have to help me. Look, I'm ready to give my mother. Please, but I, 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 I can't die now. If I do, there is nothing I or any other man can do for you. No man changes another man's destiny. No. But I cannot die now. I, I cannot die at my, at my prime. I mean, my life is just beginning. I'm just turning 40. I have not achieved anything yet. I've not even built a house in my village. Oh, see, Chipado. You can still do those things with the little time you have to live on Earth. You can still do them. What about all the wealth I have amassed? Did I just amass it for someone else to come and enjoy? I mean, the... <laughs> it is not how long the man lives that matters. It is how well, Chipado. You have lived good life. You have done so many good things for yourself. Why not accept your destiny? Siki, this is... This is very hard to accept. Well, I have nothing more to tell you. But I'm sure that when you get to that other side of the world, you will meet so many good friends. So many more will join you. You will never lack company. So my brother, save Johnny. Let's 
secret. I don't think I want you to shake your hands. So I don't think I want to do in your hands. I want to write my will. Your will? Yes, my will. Wow. It's not like you, sir. Because I've advised you on this issue several times, but you've always refused. Or do you have any dead premonition? Uh, um, no, no, nothing like that. I mean, as you can see, I'm healthy. Uh, it's just that I've taken your advice into consideration and. Uh, my friends have told me it's a sensible thing too. After yeah. all these days, even poor men do have their wills written. Yeah. No one knows tomorrow. So, how do you want us to get about it? Do you have something in mind already or do we start writing it now? We will write it now, but I don't know how to go about it. Simple, very simple. Black and white and signs. Sorry, um, okay. Well, it's in black and white and signs. I know how you feel, sir. Really do. Maybe you've not, you've not really made up your mind about this whole thing. We've, we've, we've postponed it for some other time. Maybe you can come up with something better. No, I, I forgot something at home. Really? I'll see you next week, huh? It's alright. Yeah, okay, okay. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. of the living and the dead, I greet you. What do you want? What do you want? Ha! I'm in trouble. Please help me. Just tell me your problems if you enjoy talking about them. When you finish, just turn around and go back to where you came from. Do you understand me? Eh? And wait for your destiny. You cannot escape your des destiny. I need your help. Please save my life. I will pay you anything you want. <laughs> the only thing I want from you is to leave this place and disappear. Eh? The angel of death is already escorting you. Take him to your place. I don't want him. Not, I don't want him to know my place. Go. I say go. Ha. No, please help me. I, I, I don't want to die. Please. Eh? You don't want to die. Please go. I say go. Go away from here. Go. 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 Ah, go away. What do you mean? Uh, you don't want to die. I don't want to die too. Go. I say go away. Look at this man.
Who's that? What is it? Uh, you're sweating. It's nothing, it's just a slight fever. Just come back to bed.
God all the glory. Thank God. In case you need us, you can press the bell. Okay. Thank you. Madam, I'll come and check you later. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. But I told you I'll be going to the market. Must I go to the market with you? Did you plan to, go to do it together? No, but are you won't accept me to track to the market. Please, this car needs servicing. I want to, I want, I want to see the mechanic, please. You have to carry it to the mechanic. Uh, it, 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 it's not good. You're you, you, you taking it to the mechanic. Now, if you, you won't take me to the market, give me, give me my taxi fare. I want you well. Must you go to the market in a pleasure car? Eh? Please, I don't have any cash with me now. Okay, why not join me to the mechanic? Later, I take you to the market. Me? Uh -huh. Go to the mechanic with you. You must be joking. Now, listen. I will be here waiting for you. When you are through at the mechanic, come back here and pick me. And remember, there is no food in this house. So if you don't come back on time to take me to the market, there will be no food for you today. If you like, go, 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 go to the mechanic and stay all, all, all the day. There is no love, no peace. If you like, stay all day at the mechanic and don't come back here. And you will go home with the day. Stay there and all, all through the day. You're telling me the car is bad. You will go home and you, and, and you, and you, know, you will know what to do.
Congrats. Congrats. So it's all over. Yes, I've finished serving my country. Now it's time to serve my family. Happy you. Yeah. Good afternoon. Ew. How are you? Mrs. Stella. She's the girl I've been telling you about. How are you, my dear? I'm fine. Hey! My dear, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. I hope her character is as good as she looks. Yes, it is. It is, Mama. Really, it is. So, where is the Kenna? I haven't heard his noise since. Kenna went back to school last week. I thought universities were on strike. The lecturers called off. My dear, come, 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 come. Hey, come and sit, sit. You're fine. Yeah. Nah, how was the service? Um, it's okay. It was okay. Yeah. Just, um, we went hungry a lot of times. No, now you're, you're at home. You're going to eat. <laughs> I will make sure you eat and eat and eat. According to my arrangement with your father, he said I should hand over this business to you as soon as you finish your education. These are the files. The bank statements and the company's bank account records. You can go through them and uh, if you are satisfied, then you can call your lawyer so that uh, it will affect the legal arrangement. Um, Mr. Stanley. We have to thank you very much for the way you've handled this business in my father's absence. I, um, we thank you for keeping his dream alive for the past 25 years. Thank you. But you uh, see, you see, we, have, we have one more favor to ask of you. Oh, well, go ahead and ask. We would like you to stay back for one more year. We are... Uh, as you can see, I have no business experience except for the few times that I've been here to work with you on holidays. Uh, we would like you to stay back so that I could get some more business experience for, from you for one more year. We would uh, double your percentage if you stay back. But uh, 25 years is enough. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Stanley, please. You cannot just hand over all you've worked for the past 25 years to an inexperienced manager. Please, just one more year. Please. Madam, I must say that I am flattered by this uh, attention. And uh, to you, Mr. Gottskipt, I must thank you very much for making this demand. By this arrangement, uh, you've shown that you are capable of stepping into your father's shoes. <laughs> well, 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 well. What do I say? <laughs> I will stay for another year. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Stanley. Thank you. Thank you. tonight. Leave these files alone. For the past one week, that is what you've been doing. Huh? Mama, I've just been finding out that there are some irregularities in this account. Uh -uh. Serious ones. I mean, there's a, there's a huge amount of money involved in this. A huge amount. How much? Just about five million now. 
five million naira. You can imagine. God. Ah, I can't believe Mr. Stanley has been taking us in. What do we do? Do we call the police? No, 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 I don't think so. That is not the best approach. I think uh, we should confront him. Then if he doesn't uh, give us a good explanation, then we can now resort to the police. Hmm. Whatever happened to trust? Now, uh, look, before your father died, he gave me an instruction to pay the sum of five million naira into that account within one year. Uh, according to him, he said uh, the money was for the new building. Well, that account is empty. What? Then ask Matthew, your uncle, because he has access to that account. He's, he is a signatory to that account. Uh, but uh, it is stipulated that he cannot withdraw more than a hundred thousand naira at a time. Well, I guess the money has been going into the new building. Which building? Manager, not even a single block has been added to that building since my husband died. What, you, what could Uncle Machi have done with all that money? Mm. So all the money Uncle Matthew used in marrying Maria and maintaining her expensive lifestyle has been my husband's money. Hey! Wait a minute. What are you people get, trying to get at? Eh? What, what are you talking about? You mean that uh, Mr. Chikwado has no building of his own in the village as of now? No, he doesn't. Jesus the, Christ. The only house he has in the village is the old cottage and that's why we don't usually go to the village. You know, I think it's time I pay a very serious visit to the village. You really have to, to see Uncle Matthew. You really have to do that. And very fast too. Someone bought for me when he visited. Which brandy? Did he tell you he bought the drink for you? Okay, whom did he buy it for? Me, of course. But you only drink beer. So when did you start drinking brandy? Maria. Where is the drink? Where, Where the else do you expect the drink to be if not in somebody's stomach? Well, unless you want the bottle for decoration. I'll get it for you. Why, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you came to visit us today? Yes, so <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, you're welcome. Ah. How is everybody? You're welcome. <laughs> Uncle, you know I've finished seven. Yes, yes, I can see you. It happened so fast. I had even gone on a walk. Now the company retained you. Yes, they tried to, but I rejected the offer. Why, Jim Um, Uncle, there is something I need to discuss with you. Mm -hmm. You see, we understand that my father uh, deposited a total sum of five million naira in a joint account of which you are the second signatory. We also know that you can uh, withdraw a total of a hundred thousand every month from the account. That's correct. Now. We understand that this money is to be used uh, for building a house. What we do not understand is where the house is or where the money is. And we have proof that you have withdrawn all the money, the five million, from the account. Could you please explain? <laughs> is that what you came to visit me for? Yes, that is what I came to uh, find out. Mm. Did your mother know you were coming? Yes, she does. 
What, what, what did she say? She said if you do not um, have a reasonable explanation, that I should report you to the elders. The elders? Yes. No. <laughs> it hasn't come to that. This is a family matter. And, um, well, I can explain what I did with the money. You know, it's been a long time now. I need to refresh my memory and um, get some documents to back up my expenditure. Uh, it will just take some small time, you know. You know. What length of time are we talking about? Uh? Uh, one month. One month. One month? Uh, Uncle... <laughs> Uncle, I do not see the necessity for that. You should just go into your wardrobe or wherever you keep the documents, bring them out and we sort this out. You know what I'm saying one month? I want to do a thorough job and not for you to come later and begin to suspect me. Give me one month. Well, you are an elder in this um, family and I, I have never seen any form of duplicity in you, so mm -hmm. I, I... Far from that, far from that. Yes, so <laughs> I, I will give you the one month. Okay. Yes, okay. I will give you the one month. Well, I, I have to start going now. I, I have to return to the city, but before that, I'll have to see Grandma. Okay. You'll see Grandma? Yes, I will. I, I hope you're not going to discuss this with her. You know, she's an old woman and very troublesome. No, no, I hmm? will not. I do not see the necessity uh, for that. Please don't. 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 Hmm? So, goodbye, sir. Okay. Be a good boy I and will. safe journey. Here is the bottle. If you want to eat it, eat it. I don't know how many months you want a bottle of brandy to last. Your grandson. No. <laughs> Wonderful. That little boy of yesterday. Bach him away. Full fine young man. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, hey. Oh. Uncle Wade. Uh did he discuss anything with you? No. He only brought some of my drug and uh, food stuff for me. Mm. Uh people say that um the goat should not deliver at the theater while an elder is at home. I don't know how to explain to my ancestors what I'm seeing if I die. Ha. Matthew, why are you talking about death now? Is there any problem? Do you know what that Is boy came and told me? Huh? You know what he told me? That your son's business has all been handed over to him. What? And look at just how he bought that car he's driving. Then he came to tell me that all family land in my position should be handed over to him within one month. Within one month. That adopted thing. Is Oluchi aware of that? Oluchi. Oluchi has, has a very soft spot for the boy. So leave Oluchi out of this. That adopted son. Adopted thing. Bought from a motherless baby's home. Came to play a master in our family. Ijele. We shall become a laughing stock. Why didn't they hand over the whole business to Wiken? Why? I heard uh, uh, Oluchi says uh, uh, he is the first son. I'm probably that's why they handed over every business to him. Chimwagi. Eh? Matthew, what are we going to do? Do eh? you know, do you know my greatest fear? Eh? If that boy finds his real parents, he will carry all the property over to them. And there will be danger for us. That will be disastrous. Yeah. God forbid. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hey! Some other thing is worrying me about you. You know you protested against the introduction of that boy in this family in the first place. Because of that, he will never, never like you. But... Uh, he doesn't know yet that he's not my son's real son. He does not know. <laughs> is that what you think? Yes. <laughs> when my son died, we all... I agreed to accept him. And since my son died, nobody has mentioned that matter again. <laughs> Ijele, that boy is in real money now. Real big money. That boy is in big money now. 
and enemies of progress must have told him what happened many years ago and because of that he will hate you the more what do we do now Matthew? what do we do you know why you're asking me what we shall do hey you know why i knew we have come up with a solution for this problem you know why it's old age making you weak huh? i can't find solutions from you and you're asking me what we should do Matthew, hmm? send someone to call Ikena for me. Uh -huh. Tell him to come and see me. Hmm. It is his inheritance that community wants to steal. Call me. That's it. Call me, not as long as I live. An adopted bastard ah. coming to, to claim everything. I'll go and call Ikena. There is danger if we delay. Let me go and call him again now. Tell him to come fast. Eh? Tell him it is very important. Mm. with God's gift to deprive me of my bed rights. What are you talking about? My friend, leave this place. Get out! Ah! For God's sake, Mama, you know what I'm talking about. God's gift is not the son of my father. He is not your son. He is not my brother. He cannot. Please don't talk like that. Don't say that again. Because that boy brought luck that led to your conception. My son, eight years of marriage, nothing to show for it. But the moment that boy came into this compound, my womb opened. He can please just go back to school. Oh. oh, I should go back to school. Huh? And allow another person enjoy my inheritance while I trick everything from lecture to lecture. He can there is a car and a job waiting for you once you come out of school. How am I sure that there will be something left by the time I come out of school? Whoever is feeding you with this information does not have your interest at all. And you're helping the person achieve it. Mom, nobody is instigating me. Rather, it is this conspiracy that is causing the whole problem. I can't allow another person to steal my bed right. Do you remember what happened to Esau in the Bible? Tell me, is that what I deserve? No, no, no. Is that what I deserve? You can Do you respect your father's memory? This is somebody he accepted as his son. Why are you challenging his opinion? Mom, the truth must be told. Kenna, you're back. So how's school? How's everything? No, I'm We are trying to sort out the school problem. Why, why are you back so early? Oh, I forgot a file and I came to retrieve it. <laughs> Mama, you better tell him the truth now. Because I can't be alive and watch my inheritance being squandered. Mama, simply tell him the blunt truth. He is not your son. Simple. What? God's gift. Please, let's sit down and I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you everything concerning your wife. Please.
Hello. Um, is Stella in? Uh, no, no, nothing. Uh, please, could you call Stella? I'm in a hurry. She had been waiting. Auntie Stella! Please, if Daddy comes back, tell him I went out for lunch with God's gift. Okay. Um, yeah, um, excuse me. Uh, the, the place we're going to, we have to be um, brief there because there's somewhere else I need to go and it's very urgent. Any problem? No, there isn't. Nothing. No, if there's a problem, share it with me. That is the essence of a relationship. Besides, the problem may be too heavy for you to carry. What makes you think there's a problem? Our house help. She just told me something is bothering you. <laughs> Your house help told you. So, look, do I look like someone who has a problem? You can hide the problem from me, but I don't have any reason to doubt her. Okay, whatever. There's no problem, okay? Can we, can we go now? Please. Let's go, okay? There's nothing, no problem. Let's go. What do you want from me? I want my bet right back! Have I in any way taken your bet right? I don't. I am the real son of my father. Again now. Irrespective of the fact that I am not the biological son of our father, he adopted me and took me as his son. He called me his son, and everybody knows that I am his son. He remains my father, and I his son. He has handed over duties and responsibilities to me that I have sworn to carry out to the best of my ability. And nobody, nobody, no threats, no intimidation will make me or force me to abandon or abdicate my responsibilities. Bullshit! Nonsense! Cost gift! We are talking absolute nonsense. The fact that my father took you and called you his son does not in any way empower you to mourn the affair of this family. Don't be a fool. He employs some other people's thoughts and do them as his own. Just like our uncles in the village address us as sons. God's gifts. You don't belong here. You don't have any rights whatsoever in this place. I'm warning you, you better hand over everything you're holding in your possession before they become too hot for you to handle. What's going to happen? Tell me. What's going to happen? The fact that you are the biological son of our father does not give you any impetus. What's wrong with you? Bitch, that is what is wrong with you. You want me to be the younger son while I'm older than you? How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Please, 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 please. please. can let the sleeping dog lie. I'll go up there and bring the letter your father wrote four days before he step. It was as if he knew such a thing would happen one day. No. Anything that goes contrary to our manner of conception should not be introduced into this matter. You can lie. I want you to reconsider your stand. What you stand to gain is no substitute to brother. God's gift is the only brother you have in this whole world. You need each other. You don't take this stand! Divided means trouble for everybody, you inclusive. I will not leave and watch you children destroy yourselves. I will not! Thank you. 
your brother. Excuse me. I don't know whom you're talking about. I don't have a brother. <laughs> what do you mean you don't have a brother? I don't have a brother. I don't have a brother. That's what I mean. Is God's gift no longer your brother? Did you tell me he's my brother? I know he is your brother. You know nothing. No. I don't have a brother. Okay? What kind of a joke is this? Is there a problem or something? There is no problem. Look, I'm simply telling you the gospel truth. I'm the only son of my father. So you get that into your head. Really? Okay? Thank you for that information. What of your mother? I hope she is still your mother. Sister, I'm here to inquire about a baby that was brought here about 27 years ago. Really? Yeah. 27 years ago? That's a long time. I was not even been born then. Uh, whatever. Uh, do you, how can I get the information? I, I want to know who the mother is. Are you the child? Yes. You look 27. Yes, I am. I need to know who my mother is. Well, we don't normally keep a record of the mothers. Because of a situation like this, we don't support a situation where a woman will suffer to bring up a child and let her lose the baby to the real mother who could not take care of him earlier on. Look, the situation is not like that. See, I just want to know who my real mother is. I don't want to go back to her. To me, she could even be dead. I don't care. I just want to know who she is. That's good. That's good. But the problem here now is that the... Only the sisters who brought in a child knows their mothers. And the sisters who were in charge then are no longer here now. Isn't there any way I can contact them? Give me your particulars. Uh, my name is um, Chikwado, uh, God's Gift Chikwado. God's Gift Chikwado. The file here may not bear that name. Give me the date of your birth. 20th February, uh, 1977. Well, two sisters are in charge of your matter. Sister Antonia and uh, Sister Magdalene. Okay, uh, it's good. So where can I find them? Sister Antonia is no more here. She's now in Italy. Okay, okay. And uh, what about uh, Sister Magda uh, Magdalene? Uh, Magdalene, yes. Yeah. Oh. She was killed in Rwanda oh, two years ago. Isn't there any way I can get some info information about my past? My advice to you is just for you to continue your life the way it is now. Forget about your past. Your future is what matters. No matter how bad the present is, always believe in your future. Don't scratch the past. You will never know what you will find. What 
is the problem? I went to your office, I visited your house, and nobody could tell me exactly where you are. Tell me, what is happening? Nothing, nothing. I just um, had to take care of an urgent family matter, that's all. Really? Yeah. Is the not part of that matter? Why did you say that? I saw Iken at home yesterday and he was saying something about you not being his brother. Why? Why? Why does Iken have to go that far? Why must... And him being the only son of his father. I just don't understand. What is it? Honey, sit down. Sit down. You see... I never told you this because I was afraid of how you were going to react. Tell me, what is it? Honey, I am an adopted son. And the people that I take to be my parents are not my biological parents. What of your real parents? I don't know really. All I know is that I was adopted from an orphanage and Ike and I is the real son of my parents. Honey. Is this thing going to affect our relationship? Is it, is it going to make you leave me? Why should I leave you? Is it your fault you were adopted? See, I love you. I love you very much. I don't love you because of who your parents are. And I still don't give a damn who they are. Okay? okay. Now, tell me. How are you taking it? Honey, I was devastated when mom told me that I was adopted, but she has assured me that she has no greater love for her bio biological son than me. Is it because of the inheritance that Ikena is going this far? It has to be. It is. I think he, he hates the idea of my controlling wealth that is meant to be his. It's okay. Hmm? Yeah. It's okay. You know, you've been very encouraging. Thank you very much. Thank you. I knew you wouldn't allow your inheritance to be squandered by a parasite. Uh -uh. In our family, I don't mean. Uh -uh. You're welcome. Hi. You welcome. You are no. the only one that can save this family from this place. Yes. Yes. Only you. Yes. But, Mama, <laughs> Uncle, mm -hmm. there is obstacle. What you now? My mother loves that God's gift more than me. Huh. She has insisted that he remain her son. Don't worry. Don't worry. You will disgrace them. You're going to make the land so hot they won't see where to stand. How will he do it? How? Wait. Huh? Ikena will sue God's gift to court. Huh? You're going to use the court to disgrace him. When his friends and associates hear he's an adopted thing, a complete stranger, they'll be shocked. They'll start avoiding him. They'll push him away. You are right. Ah. Very good. Hmm. Ikem. 
It will work. <laughs> you are going to sue him to court. Without working. Mama, I thought you people said I should just go and confront him. Then you can complete the task. Hmm. I've been out of school for over two weeks now. I need to go back if I'll catch up with my lectures. You can now. Are you still talking about school? When your inheritance is being squandered by, by, by a complete stranger, an adopted thing. Oh, you can't be on a joke. Mumba, na de, mumba na. Obro na me. Eh? Mum. Mum. This is a job you must conclude. Hmm. You cannot run away from your responsibility now. You cannot. Mama, I don't know any lawyer. And I don't have money to sustain a long legal battle. Let me tell you, the battle will not last so long. And I'll make sure you go back to your lectures as soon as possible. What of the money to sustain this case? If I don't have the money, I'll go and look for money from anywhere, even from my enemies, to make sure victory is yours. Even me? Eh? I am ready to sell my land. To make sure this injustice does not continue. You didn't why? You didn't why? You're a courageous woman. Now I'm here and go. You won't. Now I'm here and go. Hey, ya. But I'm when in your shop will lay ya. Remember, I'm when in your shop will lay ya. You see, the land you want to sell, I'm going to make sure I get a buyer that will pay three times the price you want. Yes. Eh? Hey, ya. Hagen. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he came. Just hang around. Yes. Next week the land will be sold. Yes. Then the battle will continue. Exactly. We are behind you. We are in your support. Not agun yele oko kwa ha na yele. At all. Ha de me me. Eh? Ba ji munwe ne ihe aso kwele ele ya o. Ba ji munwe ne ihe aso kwele ele ya. Oye. Ikenna. You dare not take this matter to court. Mom, a moving train cannot stop me. Since you have refused to declare the truth that I'm the rightful heir to my father's legacy, the court will do that for you. Ikenna, if you have any out of respect for your father's memory, I don't see why you should reject a brother your father accepted as a son. If my father had respected my birthright, I would have respected his memory. Mama, the battle line is strong. You cannot know nobody is battling with you. Please go back to school. Simply tell that stranger to withdraw from my legacy. That's the only thing that will stop me from going to court. Tell him to hand over every document. Mama, when I need every document, I need every goddamn document to me. And I'll settle him afterwards. <laughs> but if he allows me to get a court declaration, Mama, I swear by my father's grave, I will not give him a dime. Mama, one man. You can, please, please, I beg you in the name of Almighty God, just go back to school. Whoever is pushing you to make this trouble does not have your interest at heart. Please go back to school. Go back to school. It's not yet time for me to shop for new clothes. New clothes, Chukwa? But you have enough already. No, most of my clothes are getting out of fashion. I need to update my wardrobe. <sighs> okay, be patient. I don't have any money now, please. <laughs> what about okay. the money you made from the land you sold? What you See, eh? All the money from that land has been given to Ikenna. <laughs> eh? What did you say? All the money given to Ikena? Yes. Why? How can you give all the money to Ikena? Matthew, are you a fool? Okay, did you also give him your commission? Okay. Huh. Oh, please, be patient with me. Let me tell you. This case will last for a very long time. And I believe Ijele and Wanya will sell more plots of land. When she does that, more money will come and I will buy you all the best clothes you want on this earth. I'm supposed to be part of this deal. 
Because I was, you're supposed to give me something even before the big one comes. All right. No trouble. No trouble. Eh? Let me tell you one thing. As long as this case lasts, we have to cooperate. Huh? So that if he can wins, that money you're talking about will come. But our place, wardrobe everywhere will, will be filled with money. And what if he can does not win the case? Watch him win. Impossible. How can he be somebody of little faith? He's unthinkable. Ikenna will never lose. He will win. Victory will be ours. Then money will come. Oh, 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 this matter is already in court and I have to defend myself. I am the son of Chipadu and I mean nobody can intimidate me out of out of my rights. Nobody's doubting that. But you should know that all he cannot want is to give a negative attention to your condition. He wants to disgrace you first among our associates and friends. He has already succeeded in that. I mean, everybody now knows that I am an adopted son. Everybody. So there's no need running away from that. The matter is already in court. God's gift. I don't think the court can settle this matter. Okay, even if you win, the matter won't end there. So, leave their family and start yours. Running away from this will make me a man without roots. Besides, this has been the only family I've ever known. I cannot abandon them. I mean, what happens to, to the parents that adopted me to be their son? After training me in every way, I now abandon them because he can now wants to have his way. <laughs> Come on, that's not right. Your life is more important than all this consideration. Leave these people now before they start looking for other ways of eliminating you. Please. Sweetheart, nothing will happen to me. Okay. My lord, the issues before this honorable court for determinations are one, whether the fact that the defendant is an adopted son of late Chief Chikwendo in any way disqualifies him from inheriting as the first son of his father. Based on the grounds of arguments in this case, we have saved only one issue for determination. Whether a stranger to a family could take precedence over a biological child of the family vis-a-vis -vis the administration and or inheritance of the estate of the head of the family. I shall call to add section 15 subsection 1 of the state adoption law which stipulates that a person adopted jointly by two spouses will be regarded as a brother or sister to the natural or adopted children to the adopter for the purposes of administration of estates. Primogeniture is a superseding principle that guides inheritance in this part of the world. Having established the foregoing, it goes without saying that the plaintiff, as the first biologically born son of the marriage, should inherit his father's estate before any other person. I'm only pleading that you plead to withdraw this case from court. We can settle it here. Wow. How can the elders settle a case between a freeborn and somebody who is bought with money? Or cases like this are meant for the court. We are already there. <laughs> Where has God's gifts to be a native of this, this community? He has lived with us for 27 years, performing his duties and responsibilities to this community. Uh, my people, Ikenna is a man with his full rights and responsibilities. 
It is important to have such right that he has gone to court to fight this matter. So I don't think a matter that is in court can be challenged by elders. Oh! Oluchi, are you saying that God gave his son of this land? Who is his father? My husband. Yeah. He came now here. He's the son and the only son of my late son. You bought this one with money. I know where you bought it. It's enough, Mama. Don't insult my son again. Tell me, Mama. All the wives in this community, including you and I, were we not bought with money? Has that made any of us a stranger to this community? Then my people tell me, why should it be different if a man is brought in if he is made a native of the same community in that same way. My people, let us listen to what Oluchi is saying. If the women who are bought with our money become indigents, what is wrong if a man is bought? Um, I'm, I, I, I'm sorry to say this, sir. Ikena never said that God's gift is not a native of this community. He never said it. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm saying that he's not the heir to my father's property. Finish! My people, Ikena has hit the nail on the head. If we listen to him, we'll see where he's going. All he wants is the money. I have been living with Ikena for 25 years as my brother, and we have had no quarrel. But as soon as my father's property is handed over to me for control, he starts up a problem. When do you want the problem to start? When do you want it to start? Huh? Is it when you start ruling this family? I want my son. I want him when he wanted to buy a child. Now, the commodity he bought with his money from the market is now sitting as head of his family. Where has it ever happened? Tell me, you elders, who amongst you bought his own son? Ochiaya, hmm? where did you buy your own son from? Is he from Oriuku or Ekenta? Where did you buy your own son from? How? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I am going to cause anyone here today who supports this abomination. Let the son of a stranger be the head of his family when he dies. And I'm here. Why come back? Come back. Carlo, tell us what you want to tell us. Mm, I think it is not wrong to ask Ikenna to withdraw the matter from the court. What if you lose the case? Lose which case? Lose the case. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. I have already won. Yeah. <laughs> I have already won this case. You just wait and see. My ancestors will not sit and watch this house turn be turned into caricature. You will see. Una. <laughs> How bad it is when greed and hate tear them apart. Wow. Change your heart. What is it? Stella, I want to live with you when your boyfriend marries you. What are you telling me? Don't you want to work for my parents anymore? No, I will work with them, but I like to stay close to you and your husband. <laughs> and who told you God's gift wants to marry me? Ha! Ah, he loves you so much, he will marry you. Well, I want to marry him. Stella, it is no good though. You will haunt him if you disappoint him. We'll see about that. Anyway, I'm on my way out. Bye-bye. 
Ujela Mwai, the court judgment is coming next week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we need some extra money uh, to pay some court people uh, in, in order to get favorable judgment. Extra money? Uh, huh? I don't have any more money. I don't even have any more land to sell. Everything has finished. Uh, Ijele, what of the land at Ukudara? The land at Ukudara? Uh, huh. That one is a no-go area. That land is not for sale. Look. It's like asking me to sell the portion of land where I'll be buried. It is not for sale. Ijele. That is the only land left. We are not selling the land. No. We just want to use it to borrow money. That's all. Where will we, we get money to pay back? Bachimuene. After the court judgment, Ikina will be in control of all his father's money. So he'll pay back all you must have spent. And even with interest. And then all your land will come back to you. No. You don't have any cause to worry. Eh? I'm in control. Are you sure? Ah. <laughs> Don't fear. I have carefully listened to and watched the dominion of witnesses and parties all through the proceeding. I have also painstakingly followed the argument of counsel on both sides. As spirited and persuasive as the arguments of the plaintiff's counsel may be, I refuse to be persuaded that the issue for determination as plaintiff's counsel deduced is whether a stranger to a family could take precedence over a biological child of the family vis-a-vis -vis the administration or inheritance of estate of the family. This is so because to go into that shall amount to an unmitigated waste of time of these courts. The defendant is not a stranger to the family to start with. Further still, a person related to the adopted in any degree shall, unless a contract intention appears, and there is no such contract intention in the matter under consideration, be regarded as if he will be related to him in that degree if he were the child of the adopter. C section 14, subsection 1C, State Adoption Law, Chapter 6. I, therefore, hold that the plaintiff has not proved his case upon the preponderance of evidence and the law as to warrant the granting of the relief sought. This court finds and further holds that the defendant is indeed not only a son, but the first son of late Chief Chikwado and his wife, Oluchi. The plaintiff is the younger brother to the defendant, and the defendant is entitled to share in the estate of their late father in that wise. The plaintiff's action is hereby dismissed. No order as to cost. This is a family matter. As the court pleases. Oh, my God. 
This whole thing is not worth it. it. It's not a victory at all. See, if you really want my opinion, I suggest you forget about this. Honestly, I pray you should lose this case so that these people would leave you alone. They will definitely have to leave me alone now. Please, let's put more important issues, okay? By the way, you said you have something important you want to discuss with me. Is it about the court case? No, no, not the case, not the case. Um, you see, I need to thank you. Thank you very much for standing by me. I mean, you've been encouraging. You've been everything. You mean the world to me. I, I honestly don't know what I would have done without you. Thank you. So there's um, something I've been meaning to ask you for some time now. I think this is the right moment. And what is that? Stella, will you marry me? What did you just say? I asked you if you would marry me. But wait a minute. Do you want to marry me because you love me or because of the way I stood by you? It's not just that. I mean, I love you so much, Stella. I, I love you from the depth of my heart. You've been everything to me. That is why I want to marry you. See, sweetheart, I love you very much. From the bottom of my heart, I do. But it's unfortunate I can't marry you. Why? Why can't you marry me? Come on. Is it by force? No, it's not by force, but... I mean, you should give me a reason, can't you? I mean, tell me why. Why okay. can't you marry me? Okay. I don't want to be a widow yet. You don't want to be a widow. I mean, have you heard about an assassination plan against me or something? Look at it Why? This if you think your problem with your people is over, you are making a very big mistake. These people will scout for you and they will stop at nothing until you're safely out of the way. That matter is settled. Look, if if you want to give me a reason, then give me a good reason. Or maybe is there someone else? Is there... Why? Why can't you marry me? There is no one else, and you know it. But I can't marry you unless you leave that family. Tell me, what am I doing with you if I cannot marry you? Tell me, what? Excuse me.
Guess what I saw? I saw Senator DK and his wife at the baby. Mom. What is it? God's gift. Mama is dead, oh. Mama is dead. Mama? Oh. <laughs> no, it's dead. Mama, I'm... we were just in court today about a few hours ago now. Hey! Serious trouble. My son, they will say you killed her. They will say you killed Mama. Me? My son, they will say. They will say you killed her. Hey. No, 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 Mama. Mama, don't say that. Mm. Me killed Mama. It, it, it's not possible now. How? 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 These village people will not understand my son. They will not understand, though. Hey. What do we do? 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 Hey, Uncle Matthew, you smile like me. Stop crying. Stop crying. Hey! Stop crying. Hey! Hey! Okay. A great tragedy has befallen this family. Huh? Ije Lemoy is not an ordinary woman, so she must be given a befitting burial. Honestly, Mama should be given a befitting burial, though. So we must do everything possible to give her a befitting burial. Well, the problem is money. Where is the money? Money. Ha, people are talking of money. People should go and look for money, oh. We must look for money because we can't afford to disgrace the family. One, Mama is one of the Umwada. Two, we are expecting a lot of people from every part of the country. Three, every woman in this family must wear uniform. At least, Kupion lace, first grade though. And the jewelry we are going to use, they are going to write Mama on it. So, all this one you are you're talking uh, about money, money. Mama is a titled woman, so we can't do uh, less. But, Jimo, when, uh, this one is too much for the family. Uh. Ikenna, uh, uh, as the head of the family, how do you go about this one? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. You don't know? Then we have to take her to the mortuary and keep her there until you find something to do about it. Eh, my husband, I even forgot. We are supposed to buy at least shoe and a handbag to go with the lace I talked about. So when you're doing the budget, you can include that one in it so that everything will be going on fine. I might decide to do man, so we must do everything to the perfect. Somebody, no. Huh? <laughs> it's been a month now since Mama died, and nobody has informed my household on the burial arrangements. What you mean? I don't think it's true. Your son is even the chairman of the burial committee. Boy, Kenna, why have you not informed us? Who is us? Do you mean God's gift? <laughs> He's not the grandson of Ijele, so he has no part to play in this burial. Ikenna, why is he not the grandson of Ijele? Um, the court declared him only the son of Chikwato. Ijele Mwai does not accept him as her grandson, neither does our family. Well, all I want to say is that if money is the cause of this delay in this burial, tell me the cost. I'll go back and tell God's gift. Collect the money and give you people. We don't need permission from anyone to make use of our money. The money he's holding is my inheritance. When the time is right, he will surely release them to the rightful owner. I bet you. So, he should stay out of this area? Um, uh, yes, he should stay out. He should stay out. Well, elders, 
I want you people to bear me witness that God's gift has been exempted from this barrier. Nobody should blame him tomorrow. I leave. He should not come near this barrier. The money he's controlling is not his. Tell him to release that money and go elsewhere and look for his. Well, remember that if God's gift dies, I stand to take over the investment. Well, if that's the way you want it, you'll get it. You. He needs you. See, don't put your pride first. His life is more important. What has his life got to do with this? You've come with this your prophecy. I hope it doesn't come true this time. Because I can't stand being without him. Then go and see him. only come to that conclusion after the surgery. The possibility of his survival is high. Then he can only be on a wheelchair for at least three months. Hey. Calm down, okay? He'll be okay. He'll be fine. Nurse, let's go. Who is this? 
If you love God's gift, tell him to hand over that company to the rightful owner. This is a warning. Hello? Who is this? Hello? Now has nothing to do with the surgery. So, what is his problem? In my career as a medical doctor, I've never seen a case like this. Smiling and talking hours after the surgery, and now a week later, his health has deteriorated. Anyway, we will see what we can do. Hmm? Mm. He will be fine. Not from now on, no more visitors for him except his relations. Exactly. Doctor, you don't plan to do his relations. That's an instruction. Now listen. Mama, it won't work. It won't work. I said it. These people won't leave him alone until they kill him. Mama, whatever it is, please give it to them. Let them take. I don't want anything to happen to him. <laughs> How good it is when brothers live together. How bad it is when greed and hate tear them apart. Change your heart, there's just no use in fighting. Remember we are one and the same. Because we share the same heritage. Ah, Uncle Matthew. Good day. Uh, so, how did it go? Uncle, I guess we are making progress. Is that so? They have invited me for some discussion. It seems our messages have hit home. That's fine. Whatever happens, don't ever bulge. Uh, we should surrender everything 100%. Okay. And then you can give him something out of uh, as compensation. Okay. That's if you like. Oh. If I like. like. Uh, after that, you come back, we talk about the jealous, jealous uh, barrier. Uh? Okay. And other matters that may be important. Okay, uh? okay Uncle. I'm going. Okay. Hmm? Alright. How Take care. bad it oh. is when we and hate tear them apart. Change your heart. There's just no use of fighting. You can know. These are the company documents. Both legal and commercial. You can invite your lawyer for validation at your convenience. Thank you all who have participated in this settlement. As we can see, there is nothing like justice. Where there is justice, everyone is happy, like we are. Mm. Manager, right. I want you to continue in your position, but I'll be the chairman. 
and uh, when he recovers, I'll find him a means of livelihood. I thank you very much for your offer. But um, I promised to stay for only a year. And so I have to offer you my resignation letter. I can't continue because, um, as you can see, I am very busy with my own business. So, I wish you good luck. If you say so. If you say so. Good day. One man is running, running for his life. Because his brother is chasing him with a knife. He will do anything for the witches of this world. That only fade away and disappear But in times of trouble A brother will be there hmm. How good it is When brothers live together How bad it is When greed and hate tear them apart Change your heart There's just no use in fighting Remember we are one and the same. I, I, I've heard you, okay? Money, I should the money, okay? Chill. Come on, sweetie. I'll call you back. 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 These are my friends from school. That's her. That's a Mary and that's Beauty. Beautiful girl. Yeah. yeah. That's my uncle. Mm. You're welcome. Mm. You are welcome. Thank you. We're back at night. No problem. Being very thirsty. You didn't get here, what about? Okay, you can say that eh? again. <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. Okay? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, come, 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 come. I'll kiss up. Sweetie, it's one minute, okay? Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, you have saved our family from shame. Yes. You single-handedly defeated the invaders who came to reap where they did not sow. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Uncle. Hey! Uncle, I want to go back to school now. Okay. I already have some carryovers in most of my courses in school. That's what this battle has cost me. No, that's a sacrifice worth making for the family. You shouldn't regret it. No. But before you do anything, eh, I want to take you to Ugumagana, the medicine man, to give you some medicine for protection. What? Medicine for protection. Uh, no, Iken, no, 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 no. Iken, no need for that. You are now a rich man. And wealth attracts enemies. The battle is not over yet. Look, don't underrate this God's gift of a boy. Don't underrate him. God's gift can spring surprises. Yes. Don't take anything to chance. Hmm. I think that's the truth. Yes. yes. You're making a point. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, now, um, uh, the, the, those plots of land sold to get money to uh, fight a legal battle. I need some money to get the plots of land back. The plots of land. The plots of land, yeah. But I thought it was the jelly wine that has the land. No, no, I only just one out of the rest of it. Just one. Ah. Mm. Okay, in that case, calculate the amount and I'll pay you. Okay, okay. Okay? Uh, okay. Don't bother about that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, now, who runs your father's company now? Well, nobody. But you know, well, I have to finish my course first. Which will take me 12 months from now. 12 months? Yes. No. That's too long a period to allow the investment to waste. Hmm? We need the money that comes from investment. You know, it helps make you a man. I want you to go back to the business. Don't allow it to waste. Please. Please. Uh, um, I want to tell you something. I need little money to start something of my own. Mm. Mm. Something of my own. I think I deserve it. That's a good idea, Uncle. Good. 
I think I'll do the business. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank mm -hmm. you. And then lastly, you deserve a chieftaincy title to crown all your achievements. Oh, come on, <laughs> I'm too young for that. Too young? Of course. You're not too young. Ah, okay, okay, okay. If you're too young, let's make the history of you becoming the youngest title holder. <laughs> I, I know, oh, could that's not possible. No, let's, let's do it. And you know the title I have in mind? What's the title? Eze Mwata. Small but mighty king. Oh, oh, stop <laughs> this. Yeah. And on the day of coronation, I'll make sure I bring Iyaboku Masquerade from Amokwe. Really? Yes! <laughs> then Adama from Ungo. Uh -huh. <laughs> then Maunde Okeja. Uh -huh. Then the big Ijere Masquerade. <laughs> Are you serious? Then Ugoma Odendele Okokomodo Then the crown it all The crown it all Ojuju Kalaba Ayaya Ojuju Kalaba Ojuju Kalaba How bad it is When greed and hate tear them apart Change your heart, there's just no use in fighting. Remember, we are one and the same because we share the same heritage. How good it is when brothers live together. How bad it is when greed and hate tear them apart. Go and tell that young man to perch where he's supposed to perch. Best of the same feather flock together. He should seek his kind of a woman, not my daughter. But daddy, you've been seeing him here all this while and you've never complained till this moment. Well, I was ignorant. I never knew that that young man has, did not come from anywhere. No community, no elders, a citizen of no village. Is that whom you want me to have as a son-in-law? I can't believe you're judging God's gift with this standard. You forget that even those with good family backgrounds may lack the qualities God's gift possess. After all, am I marrying a man of his background? Well, listen, probably you understand squarely what I mean. Where will you bury your husband when he dies? Or you hire a piece of space in the cemetery to bury a family man? It's an abomination. Mommy, please talk to daddy. I don't understand him. Darling, please. Woman, keep your wisdom at bay. Marriage is not only to bring a man and a wife together, but also to unite families. What do people say that I, Chief Ibekwe, have a ruthless man as a son-in-law? Daddy, God's gift and I have come a long way. You have a longer way to go. The journey has not even started. Now tell me, how can he come to marry my daughter without relations, no elders, any marriage devoid of in-laws is not genuine. Darling. Remember, we are Christians. We are Christians. Therefore, we should forget our tradition. Oh, what is happening to me? Why can't you stop thinking about yourself for once? Irrespective of God's gift background, he's a human being like you and I. He needs me. He needs a family. And I am not leaving him in the middle of the ocean. Darling, there is one important thing I want to tell you about this matter. Is it in opposition or in support of my stand? Let us support this marriage. The only way this boy can convince me is for him to authenticate the proposal by bringing elders from his own village. Nay, why can't you hear me out first? Hmm? Fine, I will hear you out. 
But to be forewarned, I cannot be convinced unless the conditions stipulated are met. Go ahead, say what you want to say. Okay. What I want to tell you is that our daughter is already pregnant. Pregnant? Yes. She is pregnant for the boy. Stella pregnant? Hot. Okay. Okay. Um, what you have to do now is to hurry the marriage before people acknowledge the pregnancy. Hmm? Hmm? Thank you, Daddy. Excuse me. This is the greatest day of my life. I am not only happy that my daughter is getting married. I am also very happy that she made a nice choice. In fact, I am happy that she is going to spend the rest of her life with an intelligent man like you. A man with a very good character. Yes. A young man with a bright future. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, sir. Thank well, you. Well, that's all right. Uh, I was made to understand that you're having some problem with your business. So how are you going to cope? Well, I am starting afresh. It's not easy, but I never expected to, to be. So um, what I need now is a strong capital base. But be that as it may, I still retain my old clients, though if you have left. And I believe that um, in a few years, maybe one or two, I will bounce back to reckon. Mm, that's okay. Um. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, how, how do I thank you? You don't thank me yet, my son. Uh, you don't have to thank me yet. This is not a loan, but a gift. But if you misuse it, I will come and ask you what happened to my money.
Jesus Christ. you to be at your brother's wedding. You're still in bed. I'll, I'll get ready now. Just wait for... I'll, I'll take a quick shower. Indeed. Don't you know it's six o'clock already? The marriage is over. Oh. I'm sorry, Mama. I, I overslept. Mm. <laughs> it can... I knew you never planned to be there. Only God will judge you again. Only God Almighty will judge you. By the way, what about school? Ah. No. I can't understand you anymore. Eh? This minute, uh, your acts of marriage, the next moment you are talking about school. Ah, ah. Can't someone have peace? You will not have peace, Ikenna. You can never have peace. If you're not seen in the village, you're seen in one clubhouse. Are you not ashamed of yourself? What is happening to your school, Ikenna? Oh, mom, come on. Why are you embarrassing me like this? What's all this? Eh? Can't you see my guests? You can't be talking to me as if I'm a small boy that can't differentiate between his left and right hand. Uh-uh. Who are your guests? These irresponsible girls. Wait, 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 leave this place. Get out of this place. Please. Take it easy. This is my house. These are my guests. Hey, hey. Leave this place before I, I, I break your head with something. Hey, Get out. hey, hey, mom, it's okay, it's okay. Okay. All right. Well, girls, as you can see, my old man is really mad. And I guess she's not in the best frame of mind right now, so just get your things and let's go for a swim, okay? You should be ashamed of yourself, you can Because your father is not around. No problem. Look at yourself. Look at this irresponsible get get girls. Hey, hey, mom. Get out! Mom. Stupid down. girls! Look at what you did to my room! You can I don't blame you. Just because your father is no more. If your father was here, would you have done all this once? Eh? Which one am I going to pack? Eh? Which one am I going to Oh, me who go in Oh, me who go in Oh, God has done it again for yes, you. Yes, yes. Hell, my daughter. Hey! 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 James. Yes, yes. <laughs> Beautiful news, yes. A baby boy, a baby boy. <laughs> yeah, at last I've joined the league, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. That's good. I'm expecting you. Yeah, yeah, there's everything you need. Absolutely. Yeah, see ya. I'm happy for you. See ya. Oh, God, you're too much. Thank uh -huh, you very uh -huh, much. Uh -huh. That's good. <laughs>
You sent one of my small boys to Thailand. The two of us. I see. Do you know that that boy works as my courier? I don't know anything about this business. I see. It was my friend here who introduced me to it. He made all the arrangements. Very well. In a nutshell, the boy is in detention, is in prison. What? And 10 million naira is required for his release. And so, between both of you, I want that money provided before next week, Friday. Is that clear, Friday? But, sir, it was my last million that I invested in that market. Now, listen. I listen very well. If that boy remains in cell, the next week he's going to sing that means he's going to open his mouth and expose all of us and he knows me too well but i am prepared i am prepared to sponsor for his release but two of you must pay me back my 10 million naira Please, sir, please wait. I don't have any other money. Consider the facts that I've lost my money. And if I begin to consider the facts that you went behind my back to send my boy on a business that is now threatening my life, both of you should now be dead. 48 hours. Excuse me, sir, wait. Let Let's talk it out well now, sir. Please. Ken, what is this? Wow, wow. Ken, what is all this? You better talk to me or I, I don't understand what you... Mary! Mary! Huh? What are you still doing in the kitchen? I'm still washing the plates, ma'am. Go and finish that fast. Have your bath and sleep. I wonder why you're wearing your dress inside out. It's been four months now. Well, I've been handling my business. You have my number. Why didn't you call me? Ikenna, what is the matter? You don't look all right to yeah, me. There is no problem. Okay? Uh, I want to see the document of this house. What document? What do you want to see it for? Let me see it first. There's no document. In fact, it's not here. Mom, do you realize that this house is part of my inheritance? So that document should be in my possession. Ikena, you, you don't know what you're talking about. This house was built on my initiative. Mm -hmm. It's jointly owned by myself and my husband. On the condition that when one dies, the other one automatically bequeaths the property. Mom, what kind of crap are you talking about? This house was built by my father. You stole that document, and if you don't hand it over to the rightful owner, I will report you to the elders. Fine. You can now fine. Go and report me to the elders. Go and report me. Then you will tell them what you want to do with the documents of this house. Just last year, you were given 25 million naira. What did you do with the money? Now you're looking for a house to sell. What? Sorry, sir. No, no, no. Don't take it that way. I, I will make it on Friday, I promise. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. How? Okay. What is the problem? You are in trouble. Give me the document of this house. If they give me. Who wants to kill you? Who are the people? 
people who want to kill you. Who want to kill you? Who wants to kill you? What did you do? He came back. He came back. Where are you going at this time of the... Hey. 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 In the heart of an evil man Cause he wants the whole world For him alone I'm in serious trouble I need small money now uh, Small money like how much? Uh, about a million But I'm away is that what you call small money? I thought you meant something like uh, 200 naira. Oh, you're asking me to give me from the money. Which money? Eh? Was it the 2 million naira you gave me that wouldn't allow me rest? But I gave you 5 million in total. But I Look, you gave me only 3 million naira to repurchase the plus of land sold to cater for your legal bill. Will you expect me to, to, to pay that legal bill? Eh? Oh, okay, okay. What of the remaining two million? By the way, how do you expect me to gain after helping you from your bad situation? Eh? In a normal situation, I should take 50% of whatever you inherited. Eh? Just because you gave me two million that I don't want me to, 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 to rest. Uncle, that money was not a gift. You asked me to give it to you as a loan. Have you forgotten? Ah, uh, at your age, you should know what a proverb is. Were you expecting me to come directly and take my own share? Well, in any case, there's still a house in Lagos. You can go and use the house to take a loan. Uh, the bank can give you any amount of money you want. So, so, what, what are you trying to say? Hmm? That you won't give me back the money? Huh? Oh, okay, just... Just lend me some money, any amount you can afford. Ho oh, ha! I need a loan myself. This one is no probable. Uncle, I'm in a terrible situation. Uncle, help me. My dear, don't mind him. In case you have anything you want to sell, I will buy it. I can even buy your handset and the line in it. How much do you have for it? 25,000 naira. What? 25,000 naira. Let me have the money. Let me give him 25,000 naira. From, from where? From the money you gave me to keep. Uncle. Huh? I'm going to kill you right in front of your parents. Have your body cut into pieces. Now feed them to the ducks. Bia, bia, you cannot. You cannot, bia. You cannot, bia. Some people are trying to, to kill me because of your phone. Come and take your phone. No, no, no. I don't need the phone. Come and take your phone. I don't need the phone. No, take your phone. Later, you come and give me back my money. Take your phone. Okay. Don't, why are you to, to, to kill me? What All are right. you doing? Huh? You gave me back the phone. Well, well I will buy you a phone later. Hey. Let, let, him him. let him just give me back my money. I can buy you a phone later. What kind of a man are you? I don't want just give me my money. Okay, let, let's see if there's any money in the house. Oh, so you go just go inside. So you have money. How bad is when greed and hate cheer them apart? Hey, Where is he? 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 Where is Please, 
please, I, I, I will look for the money, please. I, I, I will bring the money. You don't need to give me like it. Just give me the money. Stop! You don't need to give us. No, you don't need to give us. I don't want to. Just the cash, and we have it. Uh, I don't. Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll bring the money, sir. Please, 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 don't, 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 don't touch him, please, please. Madam, madam, please, we will give you the benefit of doubt. Forty-eight hours to release the money, okay. or else you will be returned to you in bits and pieces. I, I will bring it. I will bring it, please. Line will be on. We want to contact us. Call his line. All right? Is something wrong? My son is sick and now. Okay, now what, what's wrong with him? <laughs> he has been kidnapped by some people he's going. And they are threatening that if he doesn't bring the money within 24 hours, they will kill him. He came now. Kidnapped. <laughs> okay, what kind of money are you talking about here? <laughs> Five million naira. Five million naira. Mama, are you sure this is not a scam? <laughs> Mama, are you sure this is not some kind of a scam by Ike now to get more money? No. God's gift. I saw things. I saw these people and I knew they meant business. My son, please. I'm ready to give you the house document as a collateral to raise this money. Please. It's not necessary. I, I, I trust you. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. But the problem is, I don't have that kind of money here right now. But I'll see what I can do, okay? First of all, where is my brother? My yeah, brother is safe. He is not safe. You can call his number. to bring the money back here and come and take this stupid boy back to his mother.
tear them apart. Change your heart. There's just no use in fighting. Remember we are one and the same. Because we share the same. Mistake fighting you. Thanks for saving my life. Mama, thank you. Oh God. Please forgive me. I was misled by wrong advisors. Oh, oh. Uncle Matty used me so badly. He used me. That man. Uncle Matty? <laughs> Mom, I now realize why all this happened. It's, it's because I asked Uncle Matthew for the five million naira that my, my father gave him for building the house. That's why the whole thing started, Mom. Good. Oh, God. You mean Uncle Matthew. Our father gave Uncle Matthew five million naira. He did. <laughs> don't let him go, Phil. Don't, don't, don't worry. Phil. Don't worry. Don't, we have to teach him. <laughs> we can't let him go, Phil, we, we, Mama. We, we have to take it to the hospital first. Don't worry. <laughs> Brothers live together. How bad it is when greed and hate tear them apart. Change your heart. There's just no use in fighting. Remember we are one. Because we share the same heritage. How good. The one I'm, uh, uh, two of you together. Yes, the two of us together. Uncle Matthew, we have come to inform you that I have reconciled with my brother. We have reconciled. God's gift is my brother. Same mother, same father. He has proved it beyond mere lip service. Congratulations. There is nothing as good as brother. It is good for brother and brother to. Don't even give me that watching nonsense. What happened to the money my father gave you to build a house? Ikena, do you still want to talk about the past? I thought this family had entered a new phase of reconciliation to let bygone be bygone. Where is the money? Or you show me the house right now. Ah, okay, in that case, where is the 25 million naira that you, that, that, that you took? Yes, you are giving 25 million naira. Show it to me and I'll show you my own. Was that your money? Okay, the one you're asking me, is it your money? Oh. Is it your money? Really? Uh huh. Is that your word? Yes. Go Let's go. We shall see. Huh? We shall see. We shall see. Let's go. Oh, I need to come in. Oh, I need to come in. You didn't watch me on the log. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't be angry. You need a great day. You didn't watch me on the log. You didn't watch me on the log. I copy and I copy and I copy I copy and 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 we have had a lot of reports made against you by the sons of your late nephew. What have you to say? Thank you very much. As the custom demands, according to custom, 
as the only brother to their late father, mm -hmm. I am supposed to control all their father's property. Shut up, Matu! Who are you trying to deceive? How can you take care of their father's property when they are already men? You can now, and God's gift. You are brothers. We recognize you as sons of Chikwado. <clears throat> God's gifts is your elder brother. As that was the wish of your late father mm -hmm. before you were born. Mm -hmm. Correct. Henceforth, you should cooperate, mm -hmm. tolerate, Good. and love yourselves. Mm -hmm. yes. As for you, Matthew, you must return all the property of your father to them immediately. And also, you must return the 5 million naira you collected from late Chikwado's account. As for the land belonging to uh, Ijerewai, the two families should share it. <laughs> this is the verdict of the elders. Uh, yeah. Elders, have we spoken our minds? Yeah. 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 Mbambola ve boma Bati muwene 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 Mbambola ve boma Afro Rebo TV Enjoy various genres of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sri, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Afarevo Dobbin Services. With the largest number of Dobbin studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Wolof, Zulu and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily. We help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on.